my memories of BLS, you know, I'm a youngin, so um, when, when I was coming up, I came up with the Mr. Magic Marley Mall. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can relate to Big when he said it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. You know what I'm saying? And now, it's a beautiful thing because uh, I used to listen to the station all the time back then. I really used to listen to hip hop. Like, a lot of the other people that are gonna talk during this 50 are gonna talk about the Frankie Crockers and the, and the daytime stuff. I'm gonna talk about the weekend and nighttime. You know what I'm saying? Because we used to wait for, especially Saturday night, we used to wait for Saturday night to hear the banging hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I waited for that. So when Mr. Magic and Marley Marl used to come on, it was like, for me, the best time ever. I used to have my boom box, take your, your, your cassette, throw it in. Me, I had to do a cassette, so you put it in one side and then, you know, you edit out Mr. Magic and Marley Marl and then you said that was your mix when you go to the park the next day. You know all of that stuff. So. For me, that was the era, that was the time, and now pushing fast forward, every Saturday, Rap Attack, Mr. Magic, Molly Mall, I'm on Saturdays now, so it's like full circle. It's a beautiful thing, man.